Well, howdy, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Buckle World. Buckle World. Buckles are us. Actually, you'll notice that this is a new buckle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a new buckle. A new old one. I actually have numerous ones of these from my cowboy days. Um, I'm very proud of this one. This is actually the first one I ever won. So it's, it's anyways, and um, it's a new buckle, but it's the same old bulge. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We're good with that. Okay, let's see if we have the same good luck with the internet that we had last time. Welcome, everybody. Well, nobody right now, but eventually somebody. Hopefully. Okay. We're going to Acapulco tonight. Gidget's Woo. going on vacation. Acapulco Gidget. And, and I'm taking Ruby with me. That's right. What about me? And Bruce. Uh, Grumps, too. Oh, or God. some guy named Bruce. I'm not sure. <laughs> One of the two. Who is that guy? Welcome to Grumps number 27. That's the first time you've ever... 27? That's the first time you've ever done that song completely... Through. Through correctly. Well... Yeah, I mean, it always sounds purpose. correct. On purpose. Sometimes okay. I just fool around with it because, okay. you know, I Because I don't know if you noticed, but some guy commented on YouTube on last week that he was quitting the show because of your passive-aggressive nature. That's my middle name. Yeah, he quit, he quit because she was being passive-aggressive by not singing the song right. Which, I, I, I'm glad he pointed that out. Cause There's I'm, some funny people. I'm so world. dumb, or the Sanatinis are doing their job. You don't I, know what that means, do you? Well, no. I mean, basically, I know, I know you. You're aggressive. You ain't passive-aggressive. There's nothing passive about me. <laughs> so, anyways. Aggressive, you And he didn't boy. think it was funny, and Watch I don't out. mind. You know, hell, you know. Now we're down to nobody watching. Oh, actually, we got... We got eight people looking in. Well, hey, everybody. We're welcome to Grumps number 27. We just did the song completely right. Sorry you might have missed that. We got Acapulco Gidget. We got some bunch of guests tonight. I'm feeling in a ranting kind of mood. Oh. Something pissed me off today, so oh, stick God. around for that. Well, warn me so I can be out. Yeah, but, I... but can I just get right into uh, it with a Sanatini? Oh. Are we still sanitizing our teenies? Yes. A sanitini, for those of you who don't know, it's the COVID-19 recipe. Long before Fearless Leader came up with uh, the idea, it's gin and hand sanitizer with a jalapeno stuffed doll. They're kind of, those two things are very similar, too. I know. And, <laughs> and the jalapeno stuffed doll will kill everything, so don't worry about it. Okay. And you also notice the uh, earring is back. Uh, we sold out. That's why I wasn't wearing it on the last show. Now we're back. Uh, we got toilet paper and paper towel in stock for those of you that want to have one. And let's face it, comes in handy on a gig. Every those nasty little messes we make, but, we can clean them up. But look at this vintage Mexican silver jewelry. I mean, this is the real deal, people. Okay. I think you need to get closer the, to the. I uh, mean, for all you uh, gals out there, are there any? <laughs> yeah, there's tons of them. But nothing, oh, uh, nothing but women. The, I gotta say, okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Look at that. You know, huh? Wow. Look at this one. It's a, it's a snake. Oh, it's, it's a snake or an iguana? A snake. It's a snake. And Ooh. then there's this fabulous, oh my God, with look matching earrings. Look how beautiful earrings. you are. Oh my God. Uh -huh. See, there goes the show. No one's going to want to look at Grumps anymore. <laughs> oh, you're so cute with that big buckle of yours. Yeah. The bulge <laughs> gets them. No, the buckle gets their interest. The bulge keeps them. <laughs> So I had a request for this song, and so I'm going to play it anyways. Thank you. 
I once was requested, somebody asked me to play Autumn Leaves, and I just played Autumn Leaves. I didn't play it that way. I played it another way because I can't remember what I do, so I have to make it up every time. But anyways, I played, played that song that I just played for you. And the guy says, no, Autumn Leaves. And I said, dude, that oh. was Autumn Leaves. He goes, no, it's not. And I'm going like, I'm, I'm sure it is. And he says, no, Autumn Leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you learn something on every. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the mamas and the papas wrote autumn leaves. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, got all these, sounds... we got all these flies in here. Is that sort of an Acapulco thing? Or... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's an Acapulco thing. <laughs> as long as there aren't any cockroaches. Oh, look at all the people Our watching. Mother, so many people are watching. I, whoa. What so just, many people are watching. What just happened? I don't know. I'm just... You're whoa. just quit dicking around. I'm quit going around. Okay. Uh, well, you had a special song worked out. And, well, and, and, I better do it before I drink and too remember much this, my margarita here. During the pandemic, but See? during every time. Ooh, cheers. Um, remember this. Happy wife, happy life. That's right. So, notice how grumps... Oh, and the... the the blouse is also vintage with it's all hand beaded. So it's probably 40s, 50s. Look at this. I have to see, see. Look at that. That's just it's just kind of amazing. The things that I do for you. You know, I dig out all my special stuff. Because Lord knows I ain't wearing it anywhere else these days. <laughs> oh, are we gonna do our little I don't even remember now. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, folks. I'm sorry. Oh. 
bandolero thing. Well, tell them what I did last night. Oh, don't tell them that part about last night, but tell them what I made last night. Well, this isn't very Acapulco Gidge. I know, but... but Okay, Gidge made, I mean, I made, and it really made, homemade pizza. I made it the doll. She, she, with the with the, the real doll with the tutti sempre tutti and it was really and good. I never no made, mangiato oh, pizza così oh my God. fuori di Napoli hai capito fuori di Napoli non hai mangiato pizza così yeah yeah and yeah, I think you understand what that means no okay I I've think, never eaten pizza like that outside of Napoli it was yeah and he it knows was, <laughs> it was real Italian flour yeah with a it was. It had the yeast, the whole, the proofing, the thingy, and it was thin crust. Slamming, slamming on pizza. Our super Anyways, hot, and you know we're just you know, we're just oh. here to basically make your appetite good and strong, because obviously my playing turns your belly. So, you know we're just we're just making up for that. Okay. Anyways, okay. Uh, the pizza was amazing. Pizza was amazing. I I slept like a baby. I, I wet the he bed. Didn't we wet the bed. Yeah, and I sucked my thumb the whole night. Anyways, um, <laughs> better than no. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, at least you didn't have to change me. So there you go. What about Ruby? Quite a week. I, I think we're going to save Ruby for a little while. But you've noticed that Ruby has been sort of a wall. I don't know. She's kind of gotten into one of the. She's gotten into one of those diva moods. <laughs> it's weird because during the pandemic, I'm home now. I'm not on the road. I'm not out there, so it's 24-7, and I think she's getting spoiled, you know. She's got dad to walk her, mom to walk her, and, you know, she's always playing one of us against the other. She's quite masterful little border collie. Anyways, um, if you, if you, if you go to Instagram, Formanism is my handle, Formanism, just like the title of this here CD, um, Every morning, I put my first chorus of the day up there, and it's just whatever tune I think of, and I just play a chorus, and I let the world hear it. I have no shame, obviously. You can tell from my playing. Um, but it's one of the things I do to keep me in shape, and also to keep this wonderful community of people intact. 
and uh, so that you'll remember me when this is all over and you go back to all the big stars there's this you know this weird ass cowboy bebop guy who wears a toilet paper earring and drinks sanatinis okay so can we open it up for guests yes we're already into the second trimester of the show <laughs> and believe me it's just like labor um <laughs> Just not as say? not as painful for us, more painful for you. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, there's so many friends who have answered the call of duty. This is a guy who claims not to know me, but I've got 1099s to prove otherwise. Okay, we got that. I better be ready because this guy comes right out of the. Oops. <laughs> It's, whoa, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. You know, not, you, not everything that you'd expect from the, the most technologically advanced human on Earth. Hey, Bruce. I'm not familiar with your work, but I'm sure you're very talented. <laughs> the money's right, so let's do this. E sharp, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I didn't announce who it was. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Ty Bailey, wonderful, Amazing. wonderful um, Hammond organ player. You remember uh, last week we had Carrie Frank? Well, I would say, and, and of course Carrie could dispute this, but I think he's wrong. Um, Ty was the one who turned him on to play the organ and set him up in L.A. And and uh, Ty, because Ty was doing real well in L.A. and we were all playing with him. And the next thing you know, he's got the gig with Katy Perry. And uh, for those of you who don't know who Katy Perry is, that's uh, Perry Mason's daughter. <laughs> and, um, and, well, you know, so. Perry Mason's daughter. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's a really cool thing. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and, uh, but t Ty was swinging at his mother fucker, as you can hear. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, uh, it'll really insult him and probably ruin his career. Of course, appearing on the show would have. But, I mean, that was, what a great tongue. What a great tongue. Hey, a great tongue. I really think that's a great tongue. I think it's Gershwin. George and his lovely wife, Ira. Suit to, no, I mean, <laughs> I was quote talking heads. 
hands there. You may ask yourself, why does he keep playing the song after it's done? Because I can't stop. Can't you tell? Otherwise, I probably would have quit with two shows. terrestrial and why like why am I here Bailey and that's even spelled different too but I'm gonna let you find him on the internet bad guy and really more fun than you need to have with or without clothing you know and he was gonna give me a whole bunch of tattoos but he took them all for himself okay how you doing in there, Gidget? I'm making dinner. You're making dinner? Can you ask me what we're having? What are we having? Something. Chicken cordon bleu. Oh my God, chicken cordon bleu. I know how to make that. You got to... potatoes. You have to insult the chicken first, right? Mm -hmm. Chicken you all. Such a stupid chicken. <laughs> hey, Ruby, where are you? Come on, we got to do some... Ruby. <laughs> Come here, girl. Rumors. Come on, don't be so shy. Come here, girl. Is she in the house? She's coming. Come here, girl. Ruby. Ruby. Oh, you're cooking. That's the problem. Ruby. I'll stop. Come on, Ruby. Come here. Come on, right up here. Right up here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, over here. How are you, Ruby? How come you haven't been on the show lately? This is my new ventriloquism act. Watch this. Hi, Ruby. How are you? How are you, Ruby? How are you? Really? Really? Oh, really? How many cats were there? Four? Five? And they all ganged up on you? My lips aren't moving. My lips aren't moving. And you've been a member of... Uh-huh. I did it. What? What? I don't understand. I don't understand. I saw what you ate yesterday, and now you licked my nose. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I going to get, like, some sort of weird pomane? Oh, Ruby, how come you haven't been on the show lately? Tell your fans what's up. Say hello. Everybody's Say hello. asking for it. <laughs> 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 like the ruby of rubies okay you gonna sing a song no maybe what key okay it had to be you it had to be you i wandered around finally found somebody who That make me be blue. Could 
Make me be blue. I said that twice. It's a good word. And even be sad. Just to be mad. Make it a yo 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 yo. You want to do the rest? Some mothers I've seen. How about some vibrato? My never baby. Or oh, ever be cross. Try to be boss. But they wouldn't do. This is the most amount of people ever watching. A mother would Show. I'm sure her agent will ask for more money now. Okay, it's been an exciting week. Now, this is going to be Grumps' first attempt at double multimedia. So, you're going to, you want to laugh at something, this is going to be some funny stuff. Okay, we're at the halfway mark, so no one's watching anymore. Okay, there's a gentleman. God, look how studly he is, too. Oh, man. This, oh, God, okay, there you go. Look at that guy. No, he's not in the Marines. No, he's not my personal keto trainer or whatever they call him, polypsia or whatever they call that stuff. He is one of the baddest piano slash organ players in the world, too. I mean, I got double organs here. You know, and that makes a that makes a happy puppy. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Here we go. But he played something. So what we're going to do here is is it was only audio. So I just want you to stare at his handsome studliness. Although he chose to cut it off before the bulge showed. Not like girl. We're going to play a little music for you. He did it on his piano in between changing diapers. solo so I can't put his picture back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so did I say who it was or did I just like say nice things about him? That's Joe Bag. Another guy who spells his name different than you might think. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, B-A-G-G, -G, Joe Bag. He's uh, another piano player and organ player that I have worked with down in Los Angeles. And somebody who always is in, like Ty, shows up in the downbeat readers polls and all those kinds of things. And I'm just glad they're consenting to be on Grump's TV because you know how this is going to hurt their career. So, uh, glad to hurt you, Joe. I guess, uh, I hope you'll do the same for me someday. Um, I just went to the union the other day, and I went in there, and I asked the guys, how do I get out of this business? Uh, Gidge, if you haven't gone to Al Capoco, can you get me another Santapini? Well, I'm busy making guacamole, but if I have to, I will. Maybe I should play drums with Joe instead of getting in the way of all those great chords. Where's the thingamajigger? Oh, it's all here. And now I see all these uh, requests, but I'm going to keep playing anyway. <laughs> so, anyways. day and he shows up at this one house and he looks up the driveway and there's this woman there and she's going and she's in a negligee she's in a negligee and he goes negligee a negligee so he goes up and he Sure enough, she brings him into the dining room, and there's the most amazing spread there. There's eggs and bacon and fresh squeezed orange juice and waffles. He sits down and feasts like a king. Where was I? She looks at him, gives him a smile, and beckons him to come up the stairs. And he goes up the stairs, follows her up there. And she proceeds to show him a good time, if you know what I mean. Light up his chakra. And I'm not talking acupuncture. He has the time of his life. starts to put on his clothes and he puts his shirt on and she puts 20 bucks in his pocket and she taps it and smiles at him. And he finishes putting on his clothes and he says, lady, delivering this room for 30 years. He says, you haven't said one word to me the whole time. And now, you give me that breakfast, you bring me upstairs, you have a good time, and then you give me 20 bucks. And she goes, yeah. I was talking to my husband last night, and we knew it was your last day on the job, and I thought we should do something for you. And he said, fuck him, give him 20 bucks. But the breakfast was my idea. Hey, Gage, come do something. I got nothing to do.
Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I got a great segue for you. Come on, you got to do something. Can I bring my Greek with me? I would say, no, come this way. Uh-oh. You're going to play the drums. Uh-oh. I, I speak, Look, you've already played ukulele. I speak, and, I speak at the stinky. Okay, you've oh, already played I'm ukulele so and melodica. I figure I have to pay for the doubles anyway, so this is, come on. It's okay. costing you extra. I know, believe me. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> The things he I, makes me do. This is my second marriage. I know all about it. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> okay. Oh you wanna, why don't you lay down a groove? I'll find a song. Oh. Oh, a cha-cha. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. <laughs> What's that? How's a cha-cha go?
Now you got some hot I mean, blood in Mama you. Mama said she was from Scotland, but I'm not so sure now. Whoa. I think there was something else going on and there. And you can buy the Gidget Joe Jones training, drum box training, drum box training yeah. and toys yeah, you uh, can. on the internet. You can get them along with these, uh, these particular charms she makes and whatever else she's making these days. I'm making all kinds of things. You know, I mean, we got nothing to do. I mean, other than sex, that, that's only good for like about 18 hours a day. I'm, you know, and why don't we have any children anyway? Uh, I don't know, are we? All that sex and no children. Uh, you know, that's we're kind of lucky part of life where we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> or, or on the other, <laughs> unfortunate part of life where we can't, uh, whatever. No, it's... Anyways, so I'm not going to go there. Because, you just did. Because <laughs> I just did. Yeah. Anyways, okay. there's another guest I'd like to have on before okay. we finish the show. I'm up. excused, yes. For, I, until, I have to until, get back until, to the portal. Yeah, 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 you got to get back to the And you know the zucchini that we're having tonight, I, I grew. She grew the zucchini, but I cooked it. He actually is cooking it. But I did grow it. But it's the thing, it's, if you're from San here. Francisco, it's a great restaurant that makes Ew. an amazing zucchini thing, and Ew. I have been repeating Sorry. It. Okay. There's no of, other way around that. Walking that. in front of my uh, well, thing. Did you, you know. did you see your panties? What? Did you, did you show your panties? Or no. no. Oh, good. Lord. Because I noticed you weren't wearing any, and I don't know how you did that. Anyways, um, okay, uh, so many, you know, I, I did... Yeah, I got to admit, I put out a, an SOS to all my pals and said, "Come on, guys, let's 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 piss people off and play together and let me ruin your career." And uh, one particular gentleman, and I use the word very loosely, um, just the nicest guy in the world. We became friends up in Washington at the Port Townsend Center at the Jazz Festival up there. And uh, just an amazing bass player. He uh, is, I played with him. He's played with me. We've done, he actually played with Cowbop on the Jazz Cruise. The nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. And uh, just a bass player beyond bass players. And hold on, hold on, Matt Martin, I mean. His name is Martin Wind. Although I think in Germany they call it like Martin Wind. But um, he's a badass motor scooter. Can read his ass off, can play any style of music. And I believe, I kind of peeped on this before I played, decided to play with it. And, um, you know, he's from Germany, he bosses me around a lot. So uh, I think he'll tell me what chords to play at some point here. So this is great. This is a very, uh, this is going to be easy for me simply because, oh, this is, uh, it's going to be easy for me because it's going to tell me what to do. And usually I have to make it up. So, boom. Hey, Bruce. Okay. I know you love Charlie Parker. Oh, that's good. a little bit of Yardbird Sweet? Oh, that's going to work. One, two, one, two, three.
Boom. Snap. Badass, right, babe? Yeah. Badass. Man, yeah. God, Joe and Ty and Martin, this has been a blue ribbon day for Grumps. Considering the shut-in nature of his solitude and quotidian existence. Man, okay. I promised I'd rant. I'm going to do it now. Oh, goody. The Santini has kicked in. Just want to say something to my friends. I don't know if you know the genesis of grumps. I know that sounds biblical. I guess that word is. But... One day I was sitting here ranting to my friend Les Thomas. Cheers, Les. I bet you're one of the two people watching. And I was pissed off about Facebook. About everybody. Just jerking off. And so I created the first Grumps video. And it's up on my YouTube channel along with all these Grumps TV shows. Basically, what I said was... I said two things, but the main one was, I'm old enough to remember when we played in public and we practiced in private. Anybody doesn't understand that, please message me and I'll explain it in somehow clearer terms than that. I also said the next sound you'll be hearing, no, the next sound you won't be hearing is me playing a West Montgomery transcription. Now, I practice probably more than most everybody, <clears throat> and it's probably pretty obvious that I can get around this thing, and I do that because I love to do it and I need to do it. But I don't do it for you people. You don't deserve to go through that. I play music. Practice is developing options Music is making choices. So all you people, when you're going out there Facebook and get away from the practice thing, and this is where it really is, it's, I'm going to probably lose about 50 of my friends here. But damn, the tracks, the bullshit background tracks. I mean, they're not even good. They're just some 90s ass shit. I mean, the guitar, I mean, we're guitar players. We're lucky. Like, we're, we got pocket pianos. We have pianos you can carry around with you. But I heard, you know, when I was 16, I heard Sonny Rollins play solo for an hour. It was so beautiful. My friend Larry Grenadier, who you probably remember from a couple shows back, you probably heard of him, has a wonderful bass solo record. It's like they're, every instrument is beautiful. Just play. Don't do the tracks thing in public. It's masturbatory. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> it makes it makes me want to take a shower every time I hear somebody do that. I mean, it's okay. We can just go. We're gonna play a song I played earlier. I don't even have the amp. I didn't play a bass note. I didn't play any army. Come on. Get into the music and play for people and don't get caught up in like, oh, my shit is like a piece of a thing. No, right now we're in a pandemic and you are everything of a thing. Be it. And then when we all get back together, we'll be better because we developed that strength. I'm just... I'm sorry. I know I just pissed off a bunch of people. I hope I started a war. All of y'all who know me on Facebook know I don't get involved in it on social media, but I'm happy to debate you in a public forum or on the phone. I think I did that very gingerly. I could have really been an asshole, and instead I just pointed out something. I mean, yeah, when I go to a hotel lounge and there's some singer up there shaking her booty playing the background tracks that's kind of what you expect of that environment but a real jazz musician 
having some jive-ass background while wanking over changes, surely we can do better. I think I'm going to have to quit there because I'm probably going to be canceled. So uh, I'm not even going to make Gidge, make Gidge come in because she's halfway to Acapulco already. So I'm going to... I'm going to bring back something. I'm hoping it's, oh, well, we lost Facebook, but it doesn't matter because uh, we're, we're good as done anyways. But I want to see if this is here on the iPad. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, this is my friend Ken Miller, who I grew up with. We played together so many gigs. Don't wait, 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 wait. This is his wife, Julie. And they're going to do the uh, they're going to do the theme out. everybody on YouTube who are my heroes. You guys don't know how much I love you and I hope we can all hang out together. Once again, buckle and bulge. Grump says goodnight.